when we're creating a model, how we do things is more important than just getting the correct thing at the end. Um, and how we do it based, is based on what the goal of the part is, how it might change in the future, um, and how we want to adapt as we're changing it. And so this is called design intent. So if we look at number one here, we've got a few different things that we have. So it's a, a U-shaped cut going out. So I can draw it as that U and then just push it back in 3D and then I'm, I'm done. Um, or I could draw it as a rectangle and then cut, draw a rectangle here, cut that out, or I could draw the whole thing, draw a rectangle here, cut that down. A few different ways I could do this and without knowing the, the intent of this, I don't know which one's the right way. Um, but there are some, some hints here. Um, and some better practices than others. So if I'm looking at this, I don't think I'm going to want to draw this whole U. One of my rules is that I can't have more than eight lines on a sketch. Um, and so if I draw this U, that's eight lines, that's my limit. Um, so if I'm getting to that, I can usually go to fewer line segments and more features and have better design intent. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So on the lab, I've told you that the short side is 2. So if I'm looking at this, the short side here is 2. So I can kind of estimate that this is maybe 3, and maybe that's 2.5. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing this. And since I'm going to draw it as a box, um, I usually start to start on the base. So I'm going to go to Sketch. I'm going to click on my sketch plane, start it. And like I said in the last video, I like to use a center rectangle. Um, if things look like they're symmetric, which this is, it's symmetric this way, symmetric that way. I'm going to use the, the box tool for it, uh, or the rectangle with the center. So I'm going to start there, go out, middle click. Um, so this was my 3 inch, this was my 2 inch, and it's brought it down. So I can say, OK, and I click. I see that all I have is strong dimensions, OK, extrude and I said two and a quarter. And so I can double check and yeah that looks to be about the same proportion. Um, so now I need to cut my, my rectangle into there. So if I create a sketch on here and I project that top edge And then I'm going to just going to delete that right away so I can get that construction line in. I'm going to draw a corner rectangle. And I'll just draw a box here. I don't want I don't want it to automatically infer the equal, so I'm going to bring it down some more and put it somewhere. Oh, middle button. I get to my wake dimension. So now I can go in and start editing some things. So right now, this whole thing can move side to side, but I can also change the lengths. Um, if I change those dimensions. So let's see. What do we think is important? So I think it's probably important. I'm going to say the side right there. Um, and then is the depth important or is the distance here important? Uh, what is it? So deciding what's important is the next step in the design intent. Um, so if I have this, I can go to dimension. Um, and I can pick that face and that edge, middle button, and I could say like 0.4. Um, and then I could say, I don't know, um, was it 2.25 minus 0.4. And actually that looks like it's not doing what I want, so 2.25. Oh, it's 2.5, 5 minus 0.4. And what was that distance? That was 2 minus 0.4, or minus 0.8, gives me that, right? So I can kind of get to the numbers I want. Notice that I was just kind of putting them in, flip that direction, and I'm going to tell it to, to go all the way through. So if I go back to my standard view, that looks pretty close to it. Um, but if I decide I want to change this and I decide I want this to be three inches across, 
I can go back to that sketch, edit the sketch. If I change this to three, look at that. That slot is no longer centered. Um, so I'm not getting what I want. Um, so I, so my, de my design intent isn't staying with it. Um, so if I go back to this sketch here, I can edit some things. I could take that away and add a dimension in here. Remember middle button. And say OK. Now when I edit this sketch and change that to 3, now that slot stays center. Um, If I go in, but I'm I'm kind of adding the same dimension twice. So if I come over this one, I can see it's SD3. That's SD4 or five. So if I just change this to be D3, I can tell it to make those equal to each other. So I can say yes. Oh, which one was that? SD3, so I'll call it SD3. So now it's the same. So if I change this to be 0.3, they both change. If you go back to 0.4, they both change. Um, again, I can take that one away, put a dimension from the bottom to this edge. SD3 also. Yes, add the relation. So if I change this one to 0.3, they all change. Um, so now I have to I have one less thing I have to change to change everything. Um, so that's kind of where we're going with the design intent. Um, so make sure you're paying attention to how things are related and which which constraints you use. Um, also, if I was going to be kind of making a hole here, um, watch out for these other constraints here. So if you're going want to be lined up on the midpoint, line up on the midpoint. If you want to be perpendicular, use perpendicular. So if I wanted a hole. Or a circle right here on here. Um, let's say I want a square slot centered on the midpoint of this. I could draw a line. So if I go over to my um, go to construction mode, I draw a line from. Yeah, of course, it's not wanting to work. In, so if I project that edge there, and I could draw. A center line down from there, and then delete that. To this point, can only move up and down. I can't pull it off to the side. And then I could draw a center rectangle from that point out. Oops. And I actually, I'm holding down Control to pick these. I should have taken those out of construction mode. Um, and so I want to right click and where was that? Um, there it is. Toggle construction. So turn construction mode off of those. So I can now set this to be an inch and a half down, an inch wide, 0.5 tall. Say OK. And I could extrude that if I wanted to. Flip the direction. And I could tell it to cut. Um, to, uh, through to the next surface. So if I hover over that, I can see that. Say OK. Now it's just cutting through that next surface. And so if I go in and I change this and change this to 15, that slot is still in the middle of the thing. So I hope this was helpful.